a true seekers welcome back zach here yesterday february 22nd 2017 one of the big news stories was nasa's announcement that they've discovered seven earth-like planets approximately 40 light years away they're saying the seven planets they've given them the name trappist one what I want to show you in this video is what's so interesting about the announcement coming yesterday, February 22nd, the 53rd day of the year. If you're new to my channel, before we get into this, I have put out these older videos. This video here is on the discovery of the three most recent planets, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. I show how in the language of Gematria, the word planets equals 33, and all three of their discoveries, the three most recent planets, on dates with 33 numerology plus a whole lot more. The discovery of Neptune and Pluto synced up with one another. These are the fingerprints of Freemasonry. And NASA in the United States is run by Freemasons, as are the other space programs of the world. So I'm going to link these older videos. One of the better videos I've made Apollo 8's reading of the book of Genesis on Christmas in 1968, special year. I'll link this video down below. These are all examples of NASA news by the numbers. This past July 4th, 2016, supposedly a space probe landed on Jupiter or got into Jupiter's orbit just on the 4th of July. If you missed that video, these are some of the more important videos I've made. They expose what NASA news by the numbers is. Yesterday's announcement, the latest example. So let's get into this. They've called this cluster of seven planets that supposedly exist TRAPPIST-1. The word TRAPPIST has familiar gematria. TRAPPIST equals 119. Very special number. All seeing I equals 119, Star of David, Star Wars, Planet Mars, Milky Way. This discovery is within the Milky Way. The Milky Way is said to be 100,000 light years in size. This is 40 light years away, Trappist 1. Foundation 119, Master Plan, special number here, 119, coded into the discovery of these seven planets. Yesterday, February 22nd, is the 53rd day of the year. NASA in Gematria sums to 35, the reflection of 53. The word I equals 35. We were talking about all seeing I and 119. 35, reflection of 53, reflections of each other. Very important. Religion in English reduction Gematria also sums to 53. And, you know, space has a lot to do with spirituality and contradic contradicting beliefs within humanity in this world. So here is the parallel between 53 and 33. There's a parallel between 53 and 33. Religion equals 53. Of course, there's a lot of 33 in the Bible, something we talk about often on this channel. 53 is the 16th prime number, and 16 is one of two numbers when written out that has Gematria 33, just like planets. The three most recently discovered planets all discovered on dates with 33 numerology. Also interesting, seven planets has Gematria 44 like space, also like telescope. You know, the Google Doodle tribute that's up. If you go to Google right now, Earth with a telescope and tributed the discovery of these seven Earth-like planets. The telescope that was used to make the discovery is said to be NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope. NASA's... <laughs> hmm. I'm not finding anything from Mixer Space Telescope. Uh, that's bizarre. It's only the third time that's ever happened while I was making a video that Siri came on and started listening to my conversation. I don't know how that happens. But anyway, NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope has Gematria of 3, 11, 
Special number, USA has the connection to 311, important number of Freemasonry. Spitzer alone has the gematria of 113, the reflection of 311. Remember, mainstream equals 113, dishonest. We were talking about how Star Wars is 119. George Lucas also happens to be 113. Space suit, which I should have put up here, is 113. Number of Scottish Rite Freemasonry is 113. With regards to Freemasonry, this announcement comes in February, the only month with 42 gematria. February 42, like outer space, like New Testament, which begins with 42 generations to Jesus. 42-line Bibles were the name of the first published Bibles. Space, religion, at odds with each other. Astrology is 42, Knowledge is 42, History is 42, Freemasons 42, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy says that 42 represents the meaning of life. So look at this. NASA was established July 29th, 1958. This is a date with 113 numerology. It was established by Scottish Rite Freemasons. Scottish 113. Same method as Spitzer, as mainstream, as dishonest. Date NASA was established. This number shows up again and again in NASA's history, 113. As for the year of establishment, 58. Freemasonry equals 58. So does secret society. So does science. So does Rod Serling in reduction, who is the creator of the Twilight Zone. The pilot episode of the Twilight Zone came out in 58 about putting a man on the moon 11 years before 69 and the supposed accomplishment. NASA has always been run by the numbers. NASA has always made their announcements by the numbers and all throughout history, the same recurring numbers. This film just came out earlier this year, January 13th, 2017, Hidden Figures, about the women behind NASA, 113. If you missed my video on the Pluto mission, you got to check that out. Google Doodle had a tribute then. It was this, creating the word goy. That was supposed to be the probe going to Jupiter. The word goy is to describe people who aren't Jewish, Notice here, this was on July 4th, Independence Day 74, Holiday 74, Masonic 74, Jewish 74, Occult 74, 7 slash 4 was the news. Juno probe as Gematria, 44 like space, just like 7 planets. 47 the 15th prime, we were just talking about 53 the 16th prime, 47 the prime number before it, Juno 15. Arrives on the fourth day of the seventh month, so we're told. News by the numbers. July 4th, 2016 was also a date with 47 numerology. And it was the first time in 99 years that that was true, that the 4th of July had a two or a 47 numerology. This landed on Jupiter. Jupiter has the gematria of 99. First time in 99 years, 4th of July with a 47 date numerology and they give us the Goy tribute. You see? <laughs> News by the numbers, Freemasons, Zionists run NASA and they mock us with it. So I will link these other videos down below. Feel free to search Zachary K. Hubbard, NASA, Zachary K. Hubbard Space, Zachary K. Hubbard, Moon Landing. I have a lot of videos on NASA by the numbers. When you do these searches, a lot of videos will come up that say I'm a shill. You can watch those for entertainment purposes. I'm not a shill. Just got a lot of haters. All the knowledge I put out is verifiable. You know, everything I teach can be verified. Proven by you. So pay attention to this knowledge. You'll see the next major NASA news release will be very similar to the same numbers we talked about here today. They use these numbers again and again. That July news also came in the time of cancer. Cancer equals 44, like chemo, like space. Think about how the moon landing was in the time of cancer. Cancer's ruled by the moon.
Cancer's astrological symbol is 69. You know, a moon landing in 69. Again, it's always been this way for centuries. The discovery of Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, that was a long time ago. That was news by the numbers. It's a testament to how long Freemasonry has been around, how long they've been controlling the understanding of this world for the masses. This is the gang that has the authority, that puts out the information, that becomes accepted fact. You know, common opinion. <laughs> and just think about Jewish Zionism, Jupiter. So, all these videos linked below. Feel free to search for more. Thank you as always. Until next time, true C.